Hi guys, some of you may have uh, known the work I've been doing before. Um, I was uh, active on YouTube, I had a blog and um, uh, it was... Um, actually that's how I started my career as an investor. Uh, of course first I invested with my private money but then when I the crisis happened in 2008 um, I proved to be right about a lot of things and um, uh, this gave me the confidence to start doing this more uh, publicly and uh, in 2009 I started a blog that was quite popular for a couple of years and on that blog I also shared, um, uh, made some good articles but also shared investment returns um, of, uh, and I made, uh, I put a lot of work in tracking down historical investment returns for gold, um, stocks, bonds, uh, cash, interest rates, uh, and in different regions uh, in, in Europe, but also in uh, Japan and the US, the US, Iceland. Um, and um, that was very interesting, uh, but I stopped doing that and I even pulled down uh, the blog because um, because these are because I realized it's not these are not returns it's just the inflation rate that you're looking at um, and so it's just misrepresentation of reality uh, if you look at the returns of gold or stocks um, bonds, average uh, cash interest rates, uh, forget the latter, but just real estate, uh, these go up by about 7% per year on average, it's actually going down over time, average returns of, of gold and stocks and was ha has gone down from, from the 70s, around 10%, to uh, the 80s, 90s, every every year it went down with 1%, 9%, 8% per year in the in the 90s, in the 80s, uh, 9%, and, and, and then in the new uh, millennium, uh, the average insurers have been around 6, 7%. And, but when you track uh, prices uh, of consumer goods in the shops, um, you see that they go up. Uh, by um, uh, depending on what item, but on average about 5% per year. So at least since 2000. And that means that uh, what you're seeing uh, when gold goes up or stocks goes up, an average of 6% per year, well, that's inflation. Um, stocks on average have also an extra dividend of 2% and that's the only money you're really making. Um, and it makes sense if you buy a stock index fund uh, 100 years ago, you just buy the, the top stocks and if you buy that same index fund today, you also buy the top stocks. And have they gone up in value? No. You buy the top stocks, it's the same value today as 50 years ago or 100 years ago. Um, no. They don't, in price, they've changed a lot, but in real value, no. And it's the same with, uh, if you buy some gold today or 50 years ago, ago or 100 years ago, it has that gone up in value, in real purchasing value? No. In fact, it has gone down in gold because it lost some, it has continued to lose its function as money um, more and more. So, but overall, uh, you kept your purchasing power a little bit down, but only a little. Um, and so, 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 and 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 also with the uh, rise of Bitcoin, suddenly money becomes something very different. Um, before we would all measure things in the same currency, either in US dollar, we would measure prices or in euro um, or whatever your local currency is but 
and this is going to change um, these currencies are going to lose um, their um, different their value uh, not only their monetary value but also their value uh, well, they, they have different money has different values. It has uh, a value to store uh, a, a store of value money. Well, euros, US dollars don't have that value. That's what gold is doing. Uh, it has a store of value. Uh, money has a, a value to transmit uh, uh, value uh, to transact value. And of course, euro and US dollar have a very high value there. Uh, but um, and gold uh, almost zero value there and uh, also as a, a measuring uh, unit uh, is, is, is the function of money and gold and US also have very high value there but I think you will see that um, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies will start to eat away from all these functions as a store of value it will eat away from gold as a, a, a to transact value it will uh, eat away from fiat currencies um, and um, as a measuring unit uh, I think that will be the longest uh, last one to fall because cryptocurrencies are really not suitable for measuring units because it's still way too volatile but um, also that will uh, disappear uh, will over time go to these new currencies um, but that's still a long way off. But yeah, um, I think as a measuring unit, the US dollar, euro really have lost a lot of their value. And that's why I stopped publishing these returns because it's not returns, it is just inflation rates. And so um, if you really want to measure returns, um, that's that's the real returns you have to compare it with um, you have to basically deduct about five percent from your uh, uh, from your US dollar or euro returns per year and then you see the real returns and then you see that they are very low if you are an index fund investor or just a broad investor you really don't make much money uh, investing in general stock market or in gold or or uh, bonds uh, or cash um, okay bonds have had a high return because the interest rates have dropped so much but then cash has such a low return because you have zero percent interest rate today so these two balance each other out on average you also have only about five percent the inflation rate on, on these uh, um, on these investments so it's um it's 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 it's, it's just uh, it's just not uh, interesting if you want to make money there is nothing to see there um, uh, it's good as a preserver of money I've long promoted the permanent portfolio which is then a mix of all these assets and indeed then you have also around 6% per year return or 7% per year return but it's more stable huh? it's one year it's it's 2% the next year it's 10% uh, but it's much more stable than if you would be only in gold or only in stocks or only in real estate. Uh, there, um, it's 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 more volatile. If you take a mix of these assets, you have a much more stable return. But it's not a return; you're just keeping up with the inflation. And so, so that's why I abandoned uh, the blog and and took it down because I really don't think these numbers are very valuable. Uh, once you know this you know more than enough uh, it's a good way to, uh, to to protect the value you've created just spread over some assets you can do that uh, and, and that's a smart way to do much smarter than putting it on a bank account with 0% interest while, while the real inflation is 5% so, so it can help but it's not the future the future I think will be here much faster than we anticipate is that people start to adopt other currencies and um, and, and, and that will make a big difference for your life, whether you start using these new currencies. That's really a big change in our society that that happens. It is really comparable to uh, communism falling and suddenly people are free to 
um, start their own company. Well, <laughs> I mean, you know, forget about the old uh, big, uh, <laughs> big um, uh, centralized uh, communist uh, companies. They will lose their um, function in society very quickly. Uh, I think the same is going to happen uh, now in the West with currencies. Um, there is still a lot to do there, uh, but it looks like it's uh, it's going to happen. Um, and so that needs to be the focus. Um, even if you invest only 1% or 5% of your capital into these new emerging currencies, that will make a much bigger difference. Uh, then it and and then you can still neglect the other ninety percent of your capital and put it on a bank account and don't think about it. Uh, that will be a much better strategy than to try to diversify over different assets, hey, hundred percent of your portfolio, but then not bother with uh, these new currencies like Bitcoin, and then 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 you will do much worse. I think. I I also. If you're honest, as an investor, are you in the market to make money or to preserve your money? Nine in ten investors will say, actually, I want to make money. Um, but they, nine in ten investors also like to fool themselves. They say, oh, I have 5% return this year. I made money. No. Eh? So when you say, sorry, you didn't make money, it's inflationary. It is 5%, then they will... 9 and 10 also stop listening to you because they don't like to hear that. They like to, don't like to see the truth of things. Um, but um, if you're honest with yourself, you realize that you're not making money uh, and, um, and then uh, you can start to focus on different investment strategies that do make you money, that do allow you to have more than 5% per year, at least 10%, eh, then you make a real 5% per year. And to achieve that, that's very difficult in the classical markets, if you invest in stocks or gold, to have an average of 10% per year or real estate, it's a fucking a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Real estate goes up by 7% and then you have to rent it out and then you have some returns there too. So you can get that 10%, but it's a lot of work. And you have to be very, very smart about it. And um, possibly take also a lot of leverage with real estate and it's a job mm -hmm. um, but will you do you create a lot of value there because I think these two things are related making money and creating value is is related the more value you create for others the more money you will make yourself if you are smart to ask also to, to insist on having a cut of the value you create. Eh? You can create a lot of value and not ask anything for it, like Wikipedia, for example, on the internet. Well, yeah, then you don't get a lot of value for what you created. Eh? But if you uh, combine these two, uh, that's what I want to do. And so um, that's why I dumped the blog, because just the investment strategy wasn't creating a lot of value for me, for the people that followed it. And, um, and um, I believe their focus, like kicking things out of your life, you have to do before you have space, room and energy to, 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 to dive into new things. And so um, for me, I won't keep a girlfriend if I don't really, I will dump her and then only later find a new one and I do that the same way with my, um, my, uh, my, the work I choose to do. Um, so I don't think it's a big loss, uh, but only if you realize that uh, the truth of uh, that returns are not returns, but just inflation. That's it. Bye.